fellow cyberdogs and fellow Minecrafters and fellow Minesquatches all over the world. This is the Lockabout with the Lockabout Presents Let's Play Minecraft 1.8 Hardcore. Minecraft Hardcore High Five with a torch in your face. That was kind of a strange sound. Well, guys, so here we are having completed not only the longhouse for the villagers, but in addition, I have gone through and I have raised our front edge up all the way. I have also removed any gravel or other such things and replaced them with dirt. And it is time for us to decide what to do. And I got just a fantastic suggestion about how to proceed with this build. Somebody said, hey, why don't you just take the longhouse and use it as the basis and continue it all the way across so that you can make a little shelter for the piggies and shelter for the chickens and shelter for the horses, all using the same kind of basic design. And I think, you know what, that's a pretty solid idea. And so that's what we are going to be working on today. So we're going to come over here, and we are going to grab some more cobblestone. Hello, cobblestone. Grab that. And we are going to, number one, just put these buildy bits up there. And we're going to put these mobby bits up here for now. And let's see, we need to drop... Since we no longer are going to need dirt, we got that covered, we'll drop that in, as well as these stone slabs, which of course we collected in the process of removing all the odds and ends that were left over. We're going to come over here to our food chest, and we are actually going to toss those things up there, and we should be good to start. Now, since... Uh, we're going to kind of continue on with this theme. I'm actually going to have to kind of do this in a two-step process so that we don't end up getting horses escaping. Because you may recall that the last time we dealt with this, we had a couple of horses that managed to escape, and a creeper explosion led to the demise of a couple of our horses. So I'm going to do that because then I will be able to remove the lower section of it, remove the fence, and the horses won't be able to uh, get on out of there. Now, one of the interesting side effects of how this build is going to work out is if we use doors for our horse's barn, then we are going to actually have more doors that count for our villagers. Um, some of you who play on the CyberDog server may know Sandrux. We call him Sandy for short. But Sandrix mentioned that um, we have to be careful because if we end up with too many doors and too many villagers, it can lead to zombie spawns. And not just any old zombie spawns, but zombie spawns quite literally right at the front door. So I think one of the projects we're definitely going to have to do is figuring out where we can come up with a pumpkin. Because by coming up with a pumpkin, we will be able to build another golem and make sure we have some protection. Go. Continue on with this process here. Come on, mouse behave. Thank you. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way across, because that's what was suggested to me. And, and you know, I like it. I like it. It will make sure that our chickens and our pigs and everybody are nice and secure. And we'll just take those to there. And do the same thing here, remove these down below. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to work this cobblestone wall across. And I will be back when I have finished it. So I'll see you in but a moment. Alright, my friends. Here I am back, and we have made some real progress here. Um, I have laid in the basic structure. And as you can see, I've also extended out the fence. So that... The fence that goes in front of our longhouse runs all the way across, and now I'm actually going to take and put in 
these guys here. I'm going to put these double gates in so that when we need to go through with the horses, we can. And now I'll be able to knock out this fence. Getting a little bit of block lag. I think I may need to defrag my hard drive. Or something, because I'm getting that little bit of block lag. And normally I don't. I've been running just brilliantly up to this point. So a little surprised by that. But there you go. The horses will have plenty of room to move. Where it will take and will actually, you know, do, do a front on this, of course. And the uh, glowstone that we used inside there we got from one of our villagers trading emeralds. And so we'll trade some emeralds to get some more glowstone blocks so that... Uh, we can light these up real good. Let's see. How many did I go in? One, two, and one, two, right there. So we've got one, two, and bang, and there should be one, two. All right, awesome. So we'll be able to put glowstone blocks in there so that it's lit up real nice and we can stop worrying about having torches. We'll also uh, do the same thing in the other sections. So as you can see, the chickens will have their own particular section. And I just need to fill this in here. The chickens, of course, can be a little problematic. They like to make a break for, for it. They're kind of escape artists. So I had to change that kind of last. And let's do the same thing up here. So we'll go one, two. And one, two. And what do we have left? Two, three, right? One, two, three. Yep, there we go. Because I don't mind using the extra glowstone. Not a big deal. So we got that set to go. Come on over here. Hello, piggies. How are you guys doing? Do you like how your new home is shaping up? Two, three, one, two. And one, two. Okay. We're going to have... Two glowstone blocks side by side for the piggies. So we're going to go see how much glowstone we may have. Sorry about the lawn noises outside. But we must put up with what we must put up with. Let's see here. I thought I might have had a little bit of glowstone left. I just don't remember what I might have done with it. Because I had gotten kind of a fair ways ahead on recording. to kind of stop and let all the episodes catch up and and so eh, it kind of broke my heart not to be able to play minecraft for a couple of days but i didn't want to get too far ahead so all right so we're going to take our emeralds and we're going to go and figure out which one of these guys it was that traded glowstone because quite frankly i don't remember pretty sure it was one of these guys was it you? No, because you don't even have your trades opened up. Okay. Well, let's go on up here. Was it you? Yeah, I believe it was this guy. No? Okay, then it's... It's one of these guys. Okay, and he's the one that trades for tags. Must be you. No? Well, who the heck was trading for glowstone? Somebody was. I think actually was one of our priest guys. What am I hearing here? Oh, I'm hearing him burn. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. That's interesting. He didn't have a helmet on. Where are you, purple guys? Somebody was trading for glowstone. Oh, I wonder, you know, like I say, we had a, a full-on zombie invasion, and I wonder if maybe the one who had the glowstone got killed. That would really be a bummer. Oh, there he is. We got you. And see, it's two glowstone for one emerald, which is an awesome deal. So... Let's go two, four, six, eight, ten, and we'll start there. I know you're going to be bummed when I take those back, but 
Don't worry, we'll get to it. All right. So let's install the glowstone so we've got that taken care of before it gets dark again. Hello, escape artists. Boy, these chickens are some serious escape artists. All right, here we go. One and two and three. Because not only will this light up the inside of our of our little barn sections here, but it will also keep mobs from spawning on top of the barn sections. I gotta get this from the outside because he's just bound to determine he's not gonna come out of that corner. There we go. And then we'll for the horses. For the horses. Hello, horses. How are you? What do you think it is business? Hmm? I'm don't worry, we're gonna get you some walls very soon. There. And there. Okay, then we that leaves us one two glowstone left over. We'll go and tuck that over here. That's a good place for it. Oh, and see, we did have some glowstone in there. I just didn't spot them. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Now that we have done that, we will be laying in the fronts to these, and we can do it without worrying that uh, we're going to end up with things spawning in there. We need to make some adjustments to the torches, though. There we go. Because the first thing I definitely want to do is put a torch on either side of the gates so that we can keep track of, of the gates. And like that. Let's see if we can get some symmetry going here. And just make sure here. Zoom, zoom. Perfect. All right. One there. I like a little symmetry. There we go. Come over here and do the same. Hello, piggies. I'm going to get you some carrots and get you guys happy in just a moment here, okay? Like I say, I like symmetry, so we're going to knock that out of there. And this one. And this one. There we go. So now we have a little more symmetry, and that should give us some decent light in between. And we'll we'll know better when it gets dark, you know. So, and then we want, of course, one on either side of the gate. And we'll figure out how many to put on the front and where in just a moment here. Put that there. Put that there. And put that there. And here, and here. So now we've got those for the villagers, and we'll put that there. There we go. And that. Okay. Now. Excuse me, horses. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. That there. I believe it was just skip one. Right? Nope, oh, actually it was skip two. Okay. So it actually goes there. There we go. And we won't need these inside because we've got the glowstone there. And now we'll go one, two, one, two. Yeah, that works for me. It's close enough that I can be okay with it. And there we go. So now... We've got some torches up. It should be fairly well lit once it gets dark, which is not going to be too long. So what we need to do is get out here and take care of the one. Oh, see, there's supposed to be a torch there and a torch there as well. There we go. We got it on the outside, but not on the inside. Keep an eye out for creepers. What a creeper man. But we need to... So four, chicka chick, and five. See, now that's the black leg I was talking about. Now it'll pop out of there. See you. Oh, you get back in there, you're, you're going to suffer. I am telling you. I will not. Well, there you go. Oh, are you going to. You are kidding me, aren't you? 
I know you're you're just kidding me. I know you're not actually trying to escape. Because you do realize that if you try to escape, then I'm going to be forced to turn you into a pork chop. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. All right, pork chops it is. Pork chops it is. You had your opportunity to cooperate. You obviously have not been watching Sesame Street. Or you would know that cooperation is very important. Of course, I'm not going to chop him up. Just now we got to go find ourselves a carrot and lead the silly bugger back in here. I figured there was a chance that we might get an escape artist out of this. Oh, come here, you. But we'll have to start the breeding process again because I was not about to wrestle with two of them. But at least, at least, at least, we only have to get one pig through one gate. So, pardon me, have you forgotten the amenities of being part of our, our little family? Hmm? I think you have. I think you forgot that it's all the carrots you can eat. That's right, all the carrots you can eat. I know you can eat a lot of carrots. Come on up here. That's it. There you go. Come on. You silly nut chew. No, no, no. Over this way a little bit. You know how to do this. You just went through the other one. There you go. Come on. Good deal. Alright, here you go. Let's see. Carrots for everybody. All right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, we now have all of the cobblestone in place. And we're going to do the final outside step, which is to remove the extra fence. Since we're not going to need it, we are going to keep it going back this way just for the sake of things, but we don't need it on the back side here any longer. And this fence can be put to better use in other ways. And eventually what we'll do is we'll take this dirt out and put cobble on the bottom just to... Uh, uh, I, I accidentally started chopping on the grass and it started to hiss and I thought there was a creeper right, be, right behind me. I was panicking a little. What on earth am I hearing? I'm not sure what that was about. <laughs> that was almost a little a little creepy. Hearing the sound of skeletons being being wiped out without any visible sign of skeletons being wiped out. Okay. around the corner and hopefully not get blown up by a creeper. We're going to throw up a little light. Oh, oh Mr. Pida. Chubbity, chubbity, Mr. Pida. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Chubbity, chubbity, Mr. Pida. Where do you think you're going? He says, I just wanted to look at the new village. I know. But no zombies allowed. There we go. Yeah, that lights it up real good. So we don't have to worry about... Let's double check. Yep, that is all lit up good. So we won't get any spawns in here with the animals. Come and get our XP here. There we go. Pardon me there. Yeah. And there we are. So... We are about out of time. As a matter of fact, we are hitting 20 minutes now. So, I am going to have to call an end to this episode. But, I will continue to put in the fronts of our 
little uh, barn area here. Our villagers have their longhouse, and I think I will make a balcony for them just so that they can come out and check out the world. And uh, we're going to make sure that we put in the fronts of our shelters here, I think. I'll have to think about it a little bit. I kind of like it kind of open like that. I like, be like it because the light helps light other things up. And see, we've got five horses in there, so there's really not room to make individual stalls for them. I'm definitely going to have to install some ladders so we can get up on, on the roofs of things. I think maybe that's the last thing. Well, no, I tell you what, we, we're out of time. I'm going to have to call it an episode. Well, all right. Thank you so much for joining me, the Lockaba. For the Lockaba presents Let's Play Minecraft 1.8 Hardcore, where we have followed the advice of one of our viewers and made that a nice, compact animal center as well as I think it's kind of aesthetically pleasing to just have it all kind of flow together with the villagers and what that does now is that gives us all this area out here to build some awesomeness we can wow we can do all kinds of stuff we can build a really nice house and maybe even a, a custom fishing hole and maybe I don't know wow now I don't know what all to build because we got so much room out here and I think maybe we will have a Minecraft high five with a magic sword in your face. Whoosh. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.